Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm improving quite a lot, um, but there there's still obviously a lot of uh, informations I need to observe because um, um, because you know it's a little bit different than than all the card games. Like it has something in common, like that you need to you know think as hard as you can and try to prepare and then get you know the knowledge covered into in-game decisions but you know um for example people which came from dota are not in particular in a bad, bad position because you know the positioning of armies and you know compilation of armies is something yeah, where experience from dota can help you a lot but uh, uh i guess like you can learn it by just playing the RP chess and um, you know, um, Figuring out, uh, for example, uh, whether the, the synergies are, let's say, good enough or bad, uh, or bad is something which is uh, pretty difficult. But, but obviously, with more experience and with more games uh, played, uh, you evaluate the different strategies uh, differently. What's really interesting about the game is that it's. Uh, changing really quickly um there are a lot of patches coming down and let's say there are a couple of unit fixed let's say every week or even more frequently that's something i was not completely used to when i was playing the card games because you know there was a nerf like let's say once per two months while here it's basically permanently changed so. Can we beat the creeps? I think we will beat the creeps. Um, we cannot put warriors. So this ogre mage has the strongest unit itself. Maiden is uh, better with more units on the board, so I guess I'd buy a beast. Yeah. Um, eventually, I'll put warriors to round one, but not uh, obviously. Uh, my army doesn't look that spectacular at the moment. I don't have any pair. And there's still, still the sold out strategy, which I don't mind in case my my army is completely bad. Like now, obviously, it was the priority to be these creeps to do not take any damage and uh, get some items. So, do we have something which can realistically win? Could put Chaos Knight extra. Can I win with that? Maybe I can actually. Yeah, I don't give it a try. This is the best army I can go, go for. I have four units. Um, I have the goblin synergy, but um, it's not super likely I will win. Like the other option was was to sell everything out, but. Um, like that's uh, something I'm doing only if I feel a close to zero percent chance to win. Like it's a big difference. Like the four or three units, obviously. Like I beat the basic goblins. Like basic goblins is like an average army. So what do I get? I could put tiny on the board instead of super match. I now I do have a pair. But uh, I, I think like the Ogre Magi is uh, way better standalone unit than the tiny. So, Ogre. Hmm. Eventually, we could put three warriors. Is this better? I, I honestly don't think so. So, I will go with this. Like now I collect, uh, connected it to the, the clockwork, so... Wow, he's only two units, how is he possible? He has another gold or he has an interest? Or he has an interest. It's obviously very good to get, get a win here. And the sniper I don't want to own, I already have these two. Like uh, connecting for a level 3 unit is uh, quite unrealistic at uh, these levels. So. We can we can put warriors. 
or we could put second chaos. Um, but then we cannot get interest anyway. So with warriors, I guess the second chaos is simply better. Just do this. Like the interest is unrealistic to have. I can buy the Phantom Assassin. Obviously, I should do my best in order to win this round. Since I'm kind of winning streak, but on the other hand, like like rerolling would be too too aggressive at this at this point of the game. Do we own the Phantom Assassin over Tiny Axe? So like, kind of Maybe we could consider putting the Phantom Assassin, but it's also really bad. So, so now I wanna have the interest so, so with this I put the goblins on. And with this I have seven. Rest. Like the warriors. Mm, I just way to pick off topic, I guess, here. Especially with the goblins, the warriors doesn't make that much sense. I'll go with this, in case I win, I buy the three over pass. Double over Magi is fine units to come back at this early of the game. Uh, I feel Crystal Maiden is uh, like she's better later on. So like now the, the mana regeneration is nice, but not uh, not good enough, let's say. So now, how is it with the Kunka? Like uh, we could have the interest like this, or we could own the Kunka. Way better. Like it cost me one gold, but in terms of interest, but I have a lot of out. I, I also have slightly better army now. And like not, I, I could let, actually let, let's say uh, leave Punka be, but let's see his uh, way to take the strength of the unit. Next turn we will have a decision like whether to go with goblins, warriors, or perfect comment to the chaos I will go with knights and lots. I go this to the goblins starts dry uh, you know, drying up. Now I'm not on winning streak anymore, so it's not even mandatory to level this fight, I feel it's in general, pretty strong. I'm not sure if I should go for that. Okay, now we connected the chaos. Oh, so we try to set up the wind streak. Mm, the issue is we don't have great units to put on. Um, but still. So maybe a Gorgon Mega is better than the tree. And in case I lose, I sell one over Magi because it's a short term plan. So now we have connected Chaos Knight, and uh, we should put a second knight pretty soon to you know, at least some synergy. But maybe we can go like with many knights actually. Like with the goblins, I will take some away soon. Okay. So the 
Juggernaut is, you know, the warrior, and we have a Kumpa as a warrior. The sniper, like all of these are super big of topics. So I could have considered get, going for 20 in rest. But I like the tree is pretty strong at the moment. Doesn't fit the strategy. It's kind of interesting like, what to do with these three com connected and completely unrelated units. But like I'm on losing streak, sure, so like uh, probably what I will do is just to build economy and not to hold any units. Like it was maybe even worth considering during not connecting the three. So now I definitely want to have 20 interest. Uh, I guess we can put the goblins away. What do we want to put? If we put a sniper, we could have real issues of setting up the interest. Uh, I guess I want to the chaos knight. Red on. Yeah, I should put a bet right here over the chance. Because my knife would be on and in case I win my bench is way way better. And a very 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 shortly we will put the put the goblins completely away, like selling on the clock. But now we won, so we should uh, do our best in terms of setting up the win. Okay, so there's Lone Druid. Second beast, that's sweet. So the question is... Six. So do we put Knights over Clock? That's the question. We can also make an interest eventually. Because in case I win, I sell, sell, sell both. Like this was quite a gamble. I feel like my my army is worse by a really small margin. Like at, so let's say I drop like five percent chance to win this round. Uh, but in, if I win, I get an extra gold. So in terms of the interest, so it was quite a bit of a gamble. And let's say it, it will pay off or not. Like. Right. The interest I wanted. Now I'm uh, quite happy with my army, obviously. Okay, now I get Furian possibly connected. Mm. I can level up and put Furian. I go. Which might be a little bit too aggressive, but on the other hand. On the other hand, like now I'm on a win streak, so so let me just adjust the volume in the battle. Do, 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 do. Let's try to actually go with something like this. Guys, if it's uh, too too little or too much, just let's stand now. Now I have 19, so I get only one interest. Like, if I would have 20, I would have to. This it was now really very frustrating to lose the round. Because uh, I lost the streak. And now, like, I have two elves, and it's pretty, pretty bad. Like, because at some point I will sell the Furian or, or the. I could put a third elf. Is it worth it? Instead of Kunka, or instead of this, like now I was knight, but the quality of unit it's terribly bad. With this, I put better unit and put third out, so it's not complete nonsense. I 
interest. I would like to get a bigger interest, but... Like, this is I'm fighting with quite an expensive army, which is not that great. So now we have four elves. I can put Surt like this. I'm not sure how, how to approach the Kunkka. Maybe I should just uh, switch to six elves. I, now I definitely want an interest. Um, so uh, now the, there are the jumping creeps. Jumping creeps. So I definitely now I'm gonna rebuild my army, reposition in it. So like an extra three. I should own an extra three definitely. Uh, yeah, I should probably just put a three into battle because like I can put level three with just one extra. So. Might be even worth four for the interest, so, so then I should have kept the Kunkka. That was a big mistake. Like, or a big mistake, I could 100%, 90% sell it next turn, but I could have the Kunkka. It's like a straightforward mistake. I didn't realize I'm 1 3 away from level, uh, level 3 3. And now I have 4 elves, so I could go for 6 elf strategies soon. So there's something you want. Put Mirana Tusk. Tusk is the third beast, obviously. So that's good magic damage, no one, right? So, uh, make the interest. We're basically just uh, running into having elves and at some point the Chaos Knight will be too big of, of the pick, so we just sell it away. But mainly we should build the economy because I need to go level 8 because I have 2 beasts on, so 6 elves plus 2 beasts 8, so... So for that we need a lot of gold on this land. Like the other option is to not to go full elves and try to just play the free elves and you know, put them high because I have all the druids. Um, but the issue with this army is it's drying up a lot and it doesn't, uh, you know, cover you the late game. And once again, I feel like mainly our concern should be to get as much interest as possible. So now we fight with three elves and putting six is, mm, you know, quite difficult. Like putting this fourth beast is something which is not, not priority for me. Like at this turn, I could consider leveling up, but it would, uh, drain way too much resources out of me, so now mainly I want to go for, for as big interest as I can because I need a big level and for the next couple of turns I'm quite covered, I have level 3, 3 um, and like uh, like before around 25 I will probably be able to put level 3 for and level 3 enchantress if I'm lucky, better alone druid, so it should be okay for, for that, but um, I really need to save a lot of gold in, in order to secure the late game, because uh, uh, obviously I cannot improve this unit a at all. Um, and obviously all of these units are quite difficult to be improved in the long term, so... So I will need to kind of rebuild the army a lot and for that uh, I need to have a lot of gold. So, so basically what I will do is uh, I can go level 8, sell the Chaos Knight and put 6 elf or go level 9 and keep the Chaos Knight battling. Or the other option is to just stay with these 3 elves and put like, I don't know, something like a button and 
and Necrophos. And what, what would that type of army? What I like about this army is it's uh, dealing a lot of damage because we have summoned units, so if someone loses to us, he takes a lot. So we want to reroll because we basically have what we want to have. Like the Lycan is for the beast. Like now we have very, very stacked bench. So if I connect, I like this might be the for beast. It's like, you know, plus uh, additional 15% attack damage. Mm. So in case I connect the Lycan, it's probably an okay unit to be be added, but it's once again, not a long-term plan like for beasts is. Not a great army for late game, so we lost the wind street bonus most likely. The trees on the other hand still fighting. Oh maybe we win. Okay, it looks good. Well it is the ranger was angry on the other hand, so Next turn we will be leveling up. How do these units? We don't need anything. Like the Venomancer is obviously an option. Well, I think the Lycan is better unit for us. Um, like these two units are kind of off to pick, but these are elves, and I can eventually put like three elves. Hmm removing these two but uh, I would need to connect all of these uh, creeps I should be able to manage hopefully that should work so the white stone now I will level up and uh, like now I probably still should stay at 15 to have the economy. So what do we put extra Lycan or Sand King? I like Sand King a bit more. So here I put this. Here I put this, but this in my army looks pretty clunky. But since I'm like the one with the most HPs, I don't care that much. I wanna own the night. Now my arm is like a disaster. Um, but yeah, I don't mind like losing next fight or two. Um, now I le or at least, um, you know, to, to 50 all the time, but... How is it that the Razor has to be back in the pack? There's Omni. Or beast, the third elf. And I saw these two to keep interest. Yeah, I'm still not convinced now about the uh, elves less and less because because clearly it's not that easy to find a space for them. Like now if I when I connect it on midnight it's once again all the hit. But we won the round, so I guess we wanna keep rolling a lot. Hmm. There's the task. Stacky. And 
guess we might be putting the the elves away. We can obviously connect the task on the bench. Save us space. How is it with Lunas? Yeah, I don't think the elves is a viable strategy anymore. Like we don't have anything special. We have just this level three tree. And we can just use it as a standalone unit and send it away at some point. So I go level 9 as fast as I can, the round 25 or 26. Fast Sand King. There's Kunkka. We want to put Kunkka, second human. It's definitely a point, some point of having Kunk on board, but I should roll a bit more like these units are possibly very easy to sell. So how good is Abaddon? It's another knight. Yeah. I don't need to own this at all. So now mm, of our army is really, really not good enough, but somehow we are miraculously not losing much, and, and that's great because we are building the economy. And next time we go level 9 and try to rebuild. It was obviously expensive, but um, but on the other hand, I can put more synergies. So it's just 26, 29, 30. Yeah. Like obviously, leveling against the creep is. Um, Something you may dislike, but I would need to level the next turn anyway, so it basically cost me two gold of an interest and next turn I will have way more time to set up an army correctly, so yeah, maybe I could have waited a turn. Okay, so how does it look? Um, seven tasks for beasts. Like two beasts. Should be removed at some point, so this is my main damage dealer these days, so see on win streak. Maybe we should be rolling a lot. Two humans, two knights, four beasts. I said this unit is very, very very bad, I would need to get level 3 enchantress or or some other beast like once again my army is not that great but I have a level 9 and good economy and the goal is to uh, the goal is to win the late game with uh, you know legendary basically Since now I'm on loose streak, um, or not on loose streak, but I'm like, I, I think like 10 every turn now. Okay, keeping 50 is probably something I can afford. Medusa could be put instead of Deki, obviously, but. <sighs> hmm, yeah, basic Kunkka is kind of clunky unit. Now I don't have many synergies, like it's pretty, pretty bad. We have just four beasts, two humans, two knights. 
missing one warrior. A composition of army is now pretty shady. Yeah, but that's why I'm investing so much into late game. Because I feel like I need to remake it a lot. But I have a quite okay-ish power level of units, so that's why I'm not losing that much these rounds. Okay, sweet. So now obviously I keep rolling. Just at 50, so there's Medusa, there's Furian, there's Troll. Pearl would be the Sir Warrior. There's Kunta Tidehunter. <coughs> Medusa. Doom. So Techie, I don't need, I don't have Undeaths. I keep at least 40, I guess. So how good is Necrophos? Obviously Titan to Plus Medusa is something which helps me a lot. Um, okay, once again I want to keep an interest. So the Florian. Mm, I guess Necrophos is better in the control. Now leveling up would be way too expensive. Disruptor. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's Medusa, that's sweet, and there's Lone Druid. There's Enchantress. How are we with the warriors? We have just one. Again, like we keep this bench and in case. In case we lose, we probably sell. Like we should have connected the enchantress. I guess. Like we now need to for to put level 3 enchantress, but this might be units which I don't want to hold forever. can even remove the tree at some point because it's kind of crystal clear they will not hold forever so now I can remove the chaos Midas okay, now we lost the beast bonus obviously but Yeah, I'm not sure about the task if it's a unit I should keep holding or not. Because now I have two beasts exactly. I think I just let it go and collect the Crystal Maiden instead. Like level 10 is quite far away, so. Skyra. Just second on death. So are we selling the tree? Hmm. I'm honestly I'm not I'm honestly not sure what to do now. Like I should probably just level to level ten. For that I need more gold. This. This is the tree is total off topic. I, the other option was to uh, send the tree away, but uh, you know the good tank is always nice, and I guess my plan will be simply to connect legendaries. Now I get a lot of gold, so turn after I will. Level. 
be sweet to um, you know connect necrophos for this turn. So this one is useless, I guess. Um, rather, so this is this. like next turn I put extra lich, uh, so um, all the units will get minus armor. My economy is perfect, so, or perfect, it's quite fine. Um, but this it will be now uh, quite fine with the time. So now I'm taking a lot of damage. So now I level up with Lich. I guess I keep 20 gold. <sighs> Hopefully, I'm, like, I will survive next two turns until level third. Like, like, and now I quite significantly improved because I have the Undeath Synergy and an extra legendary unit. And now, obviously, connecting these three units is a, is a way how I will improve. will hurt. Stupid. Um, yeah, I should have sold this and put the necrophos. These are very, very. Yeah, this, this fight went terribly wrong as well. Like, it could end it up way better, but. Not yet. Like I made a surplus out of this, and uh... yeah, we should. Um... We should put a death prop at the previous turn, but uh... Uh, but I don't think it would be enough. So uh, am I happy how I approach this game? Like I had basically very very few synergies with my units. Like, um, uh, my army was nowhere close to be as good as this one, for example. Like I would need it to be like real lucky and. You know, calling the Tide Hunter, for example, to have extremely good standalone units now, it should be over, I think. Like, hey, this guy has five warriors. I always felt it's a pity to have just five warriors and not six. So maybe I would have, like, you know, whatever random unit instead of the second Doom, but. On the other hand, I have to say uh, the the power level of all units is extremely good. Yes. Draw 
should carry probably. Okay, that game is over. 